This is a healthy liver, and this over here is a liver on the verge of liver disease and ultimately liver failure. If you don't want your liver to look like this, you'll want to stick around for the video. Keeping your liver healthy and functioning properly is easier than you expect. It's just a matter of putting the right foods and drinks in your body. If you've made some poor health choices in the past and are worried your liver can't be helped, we've got good news for you. Your liver can heal itself and turn back into the wonder organ it's supposed to be. It just takes time. Just like many other organs in our body, they can sometimes reach a point of no return where they can only be fixed with major surgery, or in some cases, there's nothing that can be done. That's a fate we're hoping to help you avoid. In today's video, we're going over 6 warning signs that your liver is in need of some serious help. Before we get started, if you value your health, please consider subscribing to our channel. Our goal here is to spread knowledge of health and wellness, and hitting that like and subscribe button truly helps us out. We post twice a week to keep you up to date on the very latest tips, tricks, and nutrition you need to live a more youthful life, even in old age. The support you provide is free and greatly appreciated. Thank you. Now, let's get to the video. The liver is an extremely important organ responsible for numerous critical functions that keep you healthy and vibrant. As the body's largest internal organ, it performs a variety of metabolic, detoxification, and regulatory roles. The liver processes nutrients from food, converting them into forms that the body can utilize for energy, growth, and repair. It also filters toxins, drugs, and metabolic byproducts from the bloodstream, detoxifying them and ensuring their elimination from the body. Additionally, the liver produces bile, a digestive fluid that aids in the breakdown and absorption of fats. The liver plays a pivotal role in regulating blood sugar levels by storing or releasing glucose as needed. Maintaining optimal liver health is crucial for overall well-being. Poor liver health can lead to a range of serious medical conditions, including liver diseases, metabolic disorders, and impaired immune function. So how exactly do we know if our liver is going bad? What signs should we look for and what do they mean? Let's use our friend John here as our unfortunate example of what to look out for if you fear your liver might be going bad. This is John. We'll get right to the truth of the matter. John does not have a healthy liver and the signs are starting to show all over the place. John doesn't think about his health very often, but lucky for him, his daughter Grace shows great concern for her dad's health. Grace has noticed some changes in her father that have been alarming, but John is a stubborn man who doesn't want to go to the doctors unless it's absolutely necessary. The first sign that Grace noticed was that her dad had lost his appetite lately. John is usually a voracious eater, but he has been picking at his plate recently and isn't eating as much as usual. A malfunctioning liver can lead to a loss of appetite through various pathways. Impaired bile production affects fat digestion and nutrient absorption, disrupting the energy's body balance and triggering decreased appetite. Liver dysfunction can also disturb hormone regulation, impacting appetite-regulating hormones like leptin and ghrelin. Additionally, metabolic disturbances such as insulin resistance and altered glucose metabolism influence blood sugar levels and appetite control. The liver plays a crucial role in regulating appetite through its impact on nutrient absorption, hormone regulation, and metabolic processes. If you notice a sudden drop in your appetite and can't think of a good reason why this is happening, it could be that your liver is going bad and it's time to get it checked out by a medical professional. Another significant change John has recently noticed is that his urine has been a very dark yellow, almost brown. This is a warning sign for liver failure that you really need to watch out for. Dark urine can be indicative of liver problems due to the role the liver plays in the elimination of waste products. When the liver is not functioning properly, it may struggle to process and remove bilirubin, a yellow pigment produced from the breakdown of old red blood cells. As a result, excess bilirubin can accumulate in the bloodstream and can be excreted through the kidneys into the urine, giving it a darker color than usual. Liver dysfunction can impair the production and secretion of bile, leading to a decrease in the amount of bile salts in the urine. This can also contribute to its dark appearance. If you are consistently experiencing an issue like this, it could spell liver disease. It's absolutely critical to get it checked out immediately so you can determine if liver disease is the culprit and how severe the damage is. Unfortunately for John, he keeps these concerns to himself. Also, unfortunately for John, he has many more symptoms that are more noticeable to others. One symptom of a liver gone bad that is really hard to keep to yourself is jaundice. Jaundice, characterized by yellowing of the skin and eyes, occurs when the liver is unable to effectively process bilirubin. 
When the liver is compromised, excess bilirubin accumulates in the bloodstream, leading to its diffusion into tissues and causing the characteristic yellow discoloration. Jaundice is a visible sign of liver dysfunction, highlighting the importance of prompt medical evaluation and intervention. Unlike dark urine, this is one symptom that is really hard to hide from concerned family or friends. If you notice that someone, including yourself, is developing yellowish skin and eyes, this is a telltale sign that they are likely suffering from serious liver issues. It is crucial that they undergo a professional examination if they are not currently receiving treatment for this condition so that the best care can start as soon as possible. John's co-workers have been avoiding him lately because of his yellowish skin. They assume he has a really bad cold or flu and they don't want to catch it. Lucky for them, liver disease isn't contagious. Unlucky for John, liver disease is much more serious than the common cold. Our poor dear friend has also noticed another symptom that has a direct impact on his day at work. John works in a sales office and lately, he has had to interrupt some sales calls in the middle of a pitch due to intense and uncontrollable nausea and vomiting. Nausea and vomiting are common signs of liver dysfunction due to the liver's role in processing toxins and metabolic waste products. When the liver is compromised, bile production may decrease, leading to a buildup of toxins in the bloodstream, which can irritate the stomach lining and trigger nausea. Additionally, impaired liver function can result in elevated levels of certain chemicals in the body, such as ammonia, which can further contribute to gastrointestinal symptoms like nausea and vomiting. No matter what job you have, sudden urges to vomit are never convenient. If this is happening frequently and the cause isn't related to your diet, liver disease might be the culprit. Be sure to get it checked out right away. Another warning sign that your liver is going bad is itchy skin. John has been itching at his skin lately, especially his hands and feet, and he surmised it was probably some allergens that was giving him issues. Without much thought, John took some allergy medicine, but surprise, surprise, it didn't have any effect. Itchy skin, especially in the hands and feet, can signal liver disease because the liver's compromised function leads to a buildup of toxins like bile salts in the bloodstream. These substances accumulate in the skin, causing irritation and itching. Additionally, elevated levels of certain chemicals further contribute to skin discomfort. Therefore, persistent itchiness in these areas may indicate underlying liver problems that require medical attention. The last straw for Grace that made her choose to consult a doctor about her father's health was his constant fatigue and tiredness. As we get older, it's natural that our energy goes down a little bit. However, if you are getting lots of quality sleep, keeping your same daily routines and diet and are still noticing a sharp dip in your energy levels, it might signal that something is not working right in your body. A compromised liver can cause extreme tiredness and fatigue by disrupting the body's energy production processes. Liver dysfunction impairs nutrient processing, leading to inadequate glucose production for energy. Additionally, it affects metabolism and hormone regulation, further contributing to fatigue due to disrupted energy metabolism. Make sure you determine that sleep quality and diet aren't factors in your fatigue before blaming it on a bad liver. John has really been trying to get back into the swing of things with his weekend golf buddies, but has canceled the last few weekends due to fatigue. Hopefully, John will eventually come to a census and consult a doctor about his many health issues. If you are concerned about developing liver disease, please watch out for any of those six symptoms that our friend John was suffering from. Lucky for him, his overly caring daughter Grace was there to save the day. Despite John's insistence that he was fine and didn't need to see the doctor, Grace scheduled an appointment with a medical professional who quickly diagnosed John with liver fibrosis. Liver fibrosis is the formation of scar tissues in the liver due to chronic damage and inflammation. It occurs as the liver attempts to repair itself in response to injury, leading to the deposition of collagen and other proteins. John should count his lucky stars that his daughter brought him to the doctor when she did or he could have been a lot worse. So don't be a John and watch out for these telltale signs of a liver gone bad. If you consistently see these symptoms in someone you know or in yourself, consult a medical professional immediately. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and put on notifications so you never miss a video. See you in the next one. And remember to stay healthy and stay based.